if we can track them, what can we do about more junk in these defunct satellites? Well, the first thing is to make there be less junk yep. out there. So one problem is, of course, all the spacecraft, once they've reached the end of their life, yep. uh, what happens to them? And so one possibility would be to refurbish old satellites, like yep. used cars or something like that. And so people have talked about, for example, refueling them. A lot of spacecraft come to the end of their life and they've run out of exactly. booster fuel to keep themselves in location. They're, they're still communicating, they're still operating, they just can't be uh, controlled for um, for those pointings and maneuverability. And so you could have some sort of refueling system that would go around. The trouble is, as we've talked about, it has yes. to be very specific to one orbit. Uh, you could, I suppose, you have a, a constellation of spacecraft in one orbit go around and refuel them. But it might be cheaper just to build them a bigger fuel tanks in the first place. That's true, because you get that delta V thing, right? Because if you're yes. having spacecraft constantly move, your changing of delta V means you're going to have a finite lifetime of your refueling satellite. Right. That's right. So I'm not sure this is a particularly feasible idea, uh, but in principle, you could repair and uh, refuel these things. And I guess if there's a f if you if you maintain a constellation in one orbit, maybe there's a reason for doing this. Well, for geostationary orbit, yes. it might well make sense. But even then, uh, the spacecraft already last more than ten years typically, and a ten-year-old thing with ten-year-old electronics is probably you're going to want to replace it with something better anyway. That's right. So another possibility, especially for geostationary orbit, is to steer your spacecraft into a graveyard orbit, as it's called. Listen, I guess it's because there's a very specific orbit for geostationary, and you don't want to clutter that very narrow particular orbit up. Whereas another orbit a bit further out, who cares if it's full of space junk? Yep. Uh, they can all collide with each other, so our heart's content, we don't really care. So what they'll do is they'll do a home and transfer orbit, two burns, to bring them into this different orbit, and then we just abandon them. So, so the idea is they're far away enough from the Earth, they're not going to really fall back? Is that the idea? Yeah, the geostationary orbit, you're way, 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 way yeah. beyond the, even the faintest traces of the atmosphere. They're going to stay there forever. You just don't want them to stay in your geostationary orbit. It's, and things don't stay in one orbit very That's precisely right. anyway. The perturbation due to the Earth and the Moon slowly exactly. warps them out. So you want it to be far enough away that they're not going to get warped back into a geostationary That's orbit. That's right, and I guess this only works for geostationary orbit, right? Because if you do it in low Earth orbit, you will potentially come back down into the path of other satellites. And going from one low Earth orbit to another one is just going to change which satellite you hit. It's still going to exactly. hit something. So this is something. And we can look at how much it's been done. Okay. Um, so this is for geostationary satellites. So green indicates a successful attempt to move it out. Yep. Uh, blue means a insufficient attempt. They tried it, but didn't work. The trouble with this, of course, you have to yes. you, leave fuel to do it, which means that your spacecraft aren't going to last as long, because normally it's when the fuel runs out that you abandon them. Yeah. And now instead of running the fuel gauge down to zero, you might have to run it down to 10% exactly. and then use that last 10% to boost you into a different orbit. That's right. It's going to cut the lifespan. It's going to cost you money, but you have to rely on people doing the right thing or being prosecuted if they don't in some sense. Um, so it's, uh, most people are now doing it. Yeah, and again, it is better because I guess the benefit here is that will affect everyone's orbit, right? It's not just that one country maintains geosynchronous orbit. Everyone needs access to it. Yep. Now, low Earth orbit's a different yes. kettle of fish. Um, here we've got the dark green is what are called naturally compliant. These are the ones yeah. in low enough orbits that the atmosphere will bring them down all by themselves. Yep. So like the latest SpaceX constellations are mostly in quite low orbits. These are sort of below four or five hundred kilometers. So they're at max, they're up there for a year, two years, three years. With that and they might have a booster that can keep them up there for a bit longer, but then at some point they'll come down and That's right. it doesn't, you don't have to do anything, it'll come exactly. down by itself. So, uh, and actually the majority of low Earth orbit satellites is like this, that's probably because the majority are SpaceX. Yes. So one company doing the right thing makes a huge difference it here. Does. Then you can, save up enough fuel to steer yourself into the atmosphere um, so that when it comes to the end of your lifespan you'd slow yourself down until you hit the the naturally compliant region the atmosphere brings you down and i guess it, doing this again as you talked about it's all about being you know a good neighbor or a good policy and as we'll explore in the law section it's actually up to the country to determine what that is yep so this looks fairly good looks but if you just take away the naturally compliant ones it doesn't look so good i guess yeah there's a lot that have had no attempt over time and then if so even still it's it's a small fraction but getting better it getting is getting better. better so but yes we're relying on people to be good citizens and, and, and there I are guess, many countries that don't do that and i guess the problem is here even if these ones weren't attempted then if they're at those higher orbits they still could be up there for another 10 20 100 years that's right so these ones could be up here and you have centuries if they're in the higher orbits